Hey folks, how you doing? It's been a while since we did a video. Um, I've just been busy doing this and doing that. Uh, daughter went back to school uh, and just all kinds of sorts of things. But yeah, I, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to a couple uh, companies. I'm doing a new solar project uh, so I can produce more kilowatt hours because I got a electric furnace uh, getting ready to be hooked up here pretty soon in the future. And that's going to burn a lot. That's 10K. That's going to burn a lot of juice. So my power bill won't be as good as it used to be. But in the state of Virginia where I live at with Dominion Energy, um, I am, uh, it's cheaper. Our electrical rate is cheaper and it's a whole lot better. I mean, either you got to pay propane or natural gas. So I'm using, I'm producing energy of solar. So I just assumed, hey, use electricity. Um, and doesn't have to run that long. 10K will get this little 36 by 30 building pretty, pretty warm without burning too much power. Then, then the wood stove will take over. Just to get it warm, then the, and then let the wood take take care of itself. But anyway, adding some more solar. Um, behind me, I got a couple solar panels, and they're from High Tech Solar, Fred. 480, I think, V uh, from um, High Tech Solar in Indiana. Uh, he gave me a real good price on two 180-watt solar panels. I think they're like $340 and free shipping. And they're black-on-black monocrystalline panels. But anyway, the, another company I want to give a good shout-out. This, this is a series on this company particularly, Mars Solar. Mars Energy Corporation, where they make a heck of a mount, and let's see if you can see that. But yet yeah, Mars Solar, that's what I'm doing my video videos on. Give the man a shout out. He gives uh anybody who mentions my name and watches the video if he needs a solar racking system, they'll get 10% off. All right, just mention my name, KBUS, KBUSMC or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. We'll give you 10% off. He makes some quality stuff made right here in USA, and it's top-notch stuff. There's panels back there too with high-tech solar made in USA also. But yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out for Mars Solar. And also, if you're a veteran, it gives military discounts also. So, you know, just want to give them a thumbs up. We'll show you what we got, all right? Anyway, I'll zoom in the solar panels, and, uh, and the instructions are awesome. It's just a good, good person with 24/7 tech support. The guy's name is Jeff, and anytime I need a question about something, boom, he's right there. I was like, man, you know, super, super support. I mean, when it says on on the online the website Mars Energy Corp. Hey, it's no kidding. You call that number, bam, he'll, he'll answer your phone call, help you out, anything you need, give you advice, whichever. Thumbs up. All right. Over here, we have two high-tech solar uh, panels. I just uh, went ahead and checked the voltages on them. And my goodness, y'all, I saw 23.70 volts. Oh, ooh, that's kind of, there you go, high-tech solar. Let's get you up closer than that, y'all. Okay, here we go again. Hundred eighty watt, high-tech solar. Uh, great company, and it's 25, I think 25 year warranty. see here in your glasses yeah 25 year warranty Woo, sorry y'all 25 year transfer transferable limited output warranty that's cool and built in America yeah that's nice the voltage it matched it says 23.90 we got 23.70 that's pretty good both panels But yeah, they're they're sweet. 
Um, I ordered a 150 watt panels. And the man sent me 180, so I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna complain about the call and say, hey man, you made a mistake. So, no, I didn't. He gave me 180, so I'm I'm happy. All right, well, let's show you the Mars solar racking and the panels. Okay, okay, folks, here are the panels. They are nice. Like, they weigh about 26 pounds a piece, so they're not too bad. Black on black monocrystalline. They are sweet looking. All right, two of them. Well, anyway, here we go, folks. This is the Mars Energy Solar, uh, Mars Energy Corporation uh, rack. And there's my insert down there. That right there, that's a, a pipe. That is a insert. It's a two inch um, OD going inside a two and three eight with a two inch ID. Okay, it's a two and three eight OD, what I'm putting this section into from my solar pole mount. And one second. Okay, folks, get back to where we were. That piece of pipe, I'm sorry, drill, I drilled it out. I made my, up my pole yesterday, and she is heavy duty. And it, this will swivel on a, from a 30 degree to like a 70 degree. It is heavy duty. Really good, really good stuff. All great components. He warranties everything. Um, in fact, he lives in Colorado where they have a steady, steady 50 and 60 mile an hour winds. He's seen some 95 and 110. He lives right on top of a mountain right there in Colorado, uh, about an hour and 20 minutes from Denver. But super great company, but it's stout. Um, Street 16 aluminum. And I got my Iron Ridge XRS rails, as you see here. And then we're gonna, you know, layer panels and do our, our our mounts. We're gonna use all Iron Ridge grounding grounding mounts. So we'll be good to go on that. Because once you ground the grounds and panels and so forth, boom to the to the uh, rails, then you're good to go. All right, well, I'll show you my pole mount. I'll show you what's going on. This is going to be a series, um, Mars Solar Energy, Mars Energy Corporation um, um, video series. But let me get, I'll show you some more information on the company. Um, but anyway, um, anyway, it says, thank you for your purchase of Mars Energy products, we, we, we appreciate your business. Here at Mars Solar, we test all of our products at a site, at a site of 8,800 feet up in the Rocky Mountains, just outside of Lake George, Colorado. We regularly get 50 mile an hour winds, some gusts as high as 95, all right? And we get some serious snow. It is a perfect testing ground to establish the functional and quality of our systems. When you are ready for professional quality equipment, let us earn your business. And it's like 100% customer satisfaction. Hey, I mean, we strive to serve our customers. Hey, y'all, I'm not kidding. They are, are true to the word and loving this company, all right? So, but yeah, here you go, Mars Solar. And it's a credible, a credible website, awesome. It's Mars Energy Corporation, um, or MarsEnergyCorp.com. All right, okay, let's go look at, this. let's go look at our, our pole mount, and I'll show you what we're gonna do out here, okay. Well, we'll talk. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I made a video. Hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah. She, she's got an outside house now. But we are now selling power back to the power company. Uh, um, got a new meter. 
And like I say, it's a little different ball game than what I was um, getting um, with my, my power bills. So we'll be doing updates on the power bills in the future. But as you see right here, this is a bi-directional, bi-directional CL3, CL320 bi-directional. And right now, we are feeding back to the grid. Whoop. Not, we are kind of evening out right now. But see how slow it's going, the dots? We're kind of, it's kind of going the other way. But I've been keeping track of it and all that stuff. But, you know, got to follow, follow rules and regulations of, my power company is great to work with. Uh, filled out all the paperwork and now I'm net metering. So, in fact, it's just net right there. But best of both worlds. I'm still, I've um, got the ability to go off grid, you know, partially off grid, you know, with to run my certain loads in my house. And then, um, you know when the power's out, then vice versa, boom. I'm selling, I'm selling this time of year, maybe 10, 12 to 15, 15 on a good day. But uh, anyway, we can take a, take a walk to the solar shop and we got some, the conditions aren't the best in the world right now, as you can see. But it all depends on the weather. I mean, you know, the more you burn and uh, you know, if it's cold and hey, you can burn more electricity. But, yep. Yeah. Walked outside one day and there was a, bam, a new m meter sitting there on the wall. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll tell you that story in a minute. But, anyway, this is my standoff post. This is Iron Ridge. And it's got 3H stainless steel bolts going through it. With end caps. It's a standoff, I'll call it. Just like my solar, my wind turbines. So I have a standoff right there. Well, this is a standoff right here from a new mount. The mount is gonna stand right there, going to the ground. Concrete right there, four foot in the ground concrete. 12 by 48 inch tube. Then go straight up and get you bolted right to that standoff right there. And there are the holes for the U-bolt. It'd be a two and a half inch U bolt, stainless. All right, and it'll be above the roof line. It'll be a good almost a foot and a half, because this might be eight foot to the top of the roof. I'm going, I'm going ten foot. So, and here is our pole. The bottom half you see there, with the stobs or the reinforcements, that's going to the concrete. So that's four feet right there going to concrete. From there, from that line, down. She's gonna be stout. And from that line up is gonna be solar panel. I mean, the mountain system. In the tube, I'll just show you that piece of uh, the Mars, Mars solar, Mars energy. The stab in, or the, uh, the uh, mail in, we're going to, okay, that'll be two inch OD on that. And that's, this is two inch ID, inner dimension. So I'll slip right in there. Bam, I got my hole drilled. The hole didn't, the hold everything in place. It's going to take a three eighths stainless bolt in there. And that'll hold it secure. And down here, these are braces. Um, these are from Mars Energy to give you even more support well of course i gotta bulk that on there correctly but anyway it's like that it's and these slide in and out you know slightly any tighten them down so it's like for wind and snow load so yeah that's what's gonna be like then then you get one on each side so it'll be two of these connecting to the uh the solar the um, solar panel array to give you extra rigid rigidity you know, wind, snow, and all that good stuff. Can't hurt. All right. 
Well, I'm going to take a walk back to the shop. A little cool out here today. But yeah, we're doing all kind of stuff. And uh, I'm going to dig a uh, trench from a concrete. Bam. Right there. I'm going to ground it here. I'm going to ground it there. Because that's from a combiner box. It can go right up there next to that window. I'm going to put my, sort of just like that. That, that combiner box there. Be another MP, NPV3 right up in the wall with a midnight solar surge protection device. Gotta have that. I want everything grounded and protected. All right, we'll be back here in a minute, okay? Okay, y'all, we're back to the uh, Mars Energy and the high-tech solar uh, project. Y'all, I got the panels on there. She is looking great. And I got something cool to show you uh, with this Iron Ridge racking system. Uh, it's called the camo. Uh, let me get this bad boy. One second. There it is. Okay. It's called the Iron Ridge camo. Um, it's called the Iron Ridge Camo, and what it does, it goes underneath your solar panels, like this. No tools. This end right here goes inside your rail, top of your rail, and it's got two spikes right here that will uh, dig into your panel, your anodizing or your aluminum. So get get a better uh, contact for, for grounding. So you just slip that puppy up on your rail, as so, and you turn it, and it catches the solar panel and it's, it's locked in place. Here, I'll, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate. All right, okay, what, what do you do? You had this um, camo, that's what it's called, it's C-A-M-A-O, camo, iron, made by Iron Ridge. You would put it underneath of here. Okay, once you get underneath of here, you put it up against your uh, your edge of your solar panel and you lock it. Then this goes into your thing right here. Like, in other words, this would fit into your, like that, but catching the solar panel. I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a look underneath and I'll show you the Mars energy uh, mount up underneath, okay? All right. So yeah, I had to show you that, this is cool. And I got my mid mounts, <clears throat> Iron Ridge mid mounts, um, that with the teeth that cut into the uh, aluminum. That way they're grounded. You see that, see the mid mounts? It makes a clean job. And I'll be putting end caps over there also, in caps on those, some Iron Ridge in caps. <clears throat> Let me give you a look underneath, all right? There okay, we go. folks, right here is our, what, does this just light? Okay, that is your Iron Ridge UFO clamp. I mean, camo clamp. And what it does, it catches the top rail Right there. Oops. Right there, and it catches, and then it snaps into the, it snaps into the rail up in here. It's like, you know, it's an indention up in here. But yeah, that's some sweet stuff. And let me zoom it out. And here are your Iron Ridge mid clamps. See that bolt right there? There you go. That's it. And sorry for all the grunting. I just ate dinner. <laughs> I hadn't missed too many meals. But here is your, the Mars Solar, I mean Mars Energy Corporation um, mount. That is one bad mamma jamma. But it, this is where, this will be pointing south. 
right here. And right now it's about a 70, uh, about a 70 degree angle. And right here, oh, yep, that'd be up like a 30, 30 degree angle. <clears throat> but anyway, then that tightens up by these two bolts here, right here, and you can lock this one in place here, right here. Then you got adjustments you can go left to right to, or east, or east to west. Uh, check this light out, y'all. This is the DeWalt. Um, this is the DeWalt DCL 050 work light. That thing is bright. Let me tell you what. Whoa. But anyway, yeah, it helps out a lot. But there are the UFOs up over there, too. I mean, camos up over there. And up here, let me get the light over here. Those are also the camos. And another one right there. All right. Well, this fit front and we're going to tie these both these panels in a series to make 24 volts. Well, actually, more than that, they're like 23 volts. So we're looking at. 23 23 about 46 volts so anyway all right I'm gonna show you my grounds also all right anyway something happened to the camera uh, I'll run the six gauge copper right here to here to go from there Okay, folks, <clears throat> that's going to be a wrap for right now. We'll come back tomorrow, next day, and we'll finish up. After we get a hole dug, <clears throat> I'll, do, I'll do steps in the progress. Uh, I'm digging a hole and all that good stuff. i got some buddies of mine helping me. Um, the one I built the, on the cabinet, the pantry cabinet, uh, Mark and Beanie, they're giving me a hand. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back after a while, and I'll, we'll get some more updates. Okay, y'all take care. We'll be back, uh, like I said, tomorrow, but this is going to be the same video. All right, so y'all hold tight. All right now. Okay, folks, how you doing? We're back. We just got the pole, solar pole mount on the ground, Mars Energy Corporation, Mars Solar. Mars solar. And she's up in the air. That's 10 feet off the ground from where the pivot point is. Alright. It's getting dark on us. Ran out of concrete. They're going to got guy at the hardware store didn't do his math correctly. But uh there she is. We we're about three bags short. So I thought I said that doesn't sound right. I knew it didn't sound right. But anyway, and there we are. So Got the whole dug, got tampered and all that stuff. And the standoff for more support. A stand still U bolt. And here's a panel behind us. She's up there. But that way it clear the roof and stay a whole lot cooler. But that's probably at a 30. 37, I'm going to say close to a 37 degree angle right there. That's right for this time for November. But there she is, Mars Solar. Mars Energy Corporation. Make some nice brackets, y'all. These are the wind struts right there. Yep, and these are high-tech solar panels, 180s, two 180s. So that'd be 360 watts. So we'll be back shortly. Okay. All right, folks. Back after a while for more updates. And it's a pretty mount. That's two and three eight inch pipe. Man, four foot of, and four foot of concrete. A 12 by 48 inch. Plus a standoff about 
right at seven foot off the ground. So yeah, all right, folks. Shouldn't affect my wind, must, shouldn't affect my wind terms at all. So we'll be good to go. Maybe a little bit, not much. Be back after a while. Oh, another thing. Today is November tenth, two thousand eighteen. I want to say Semper Five after all my Marine buddies out there. Hoorah. Happy birthday, Marine Corps. Amen. Hoorah. Hey, folks, how you doing? When it's daytime, didn't get much done today. It was colder than heck. Um, it's 4 8. We still got sun on our, on our pan, uh, solar panels, or high tech solar, 180 waters. But it, I hadn't got my um, everything wired up. I got anything wired up yet. Just got it set in place and all that good stuff. So let me get, let you look at the Mars solar um, panel uh, array and uh, adjustment. Great product, y'all. Super product. All right, let's go take a look at it. As you see here, you get the wind struts, wind and snow load struts right here. And these are two 180 waters. And uh, got her in the ground, four foot. Got plastic over the concrete. It got down to like 30 degrees last night here in Virginia, Southern Virginia. And uh, yeah, she's a nice heavy duty product. I got my ground up there. Kind of overkill, all I need is one bonded, but I got both of them. Be safe. All right, let's look, let's look at the back side. All right, here's the bracket itself. She's stout. There's a hole drilled in there for the schedule 40, 2 and 3 8s. Like I'll show you earlier in the videos. And there's a wind and snow load strut on the back side. Those are two, two, inch, two and three inch band braces galvanized. Yeah, y'all, great product. All right, let's look at the very, very back, away from the building. Okay, now here's the back sides of it. She's up in there, she'll stay cool. That's one thing I like about a pole mount. Adjustable, and they stay cool. They're just a good, great all together. Great product, folks. I still got to hook my wires and everything up. One time it's going series, I think 24 volt. Then going to the building from there. And there's my standoff. More than mid, about three quarters way up. I got a new U bolt on the way also. Not quite long enough. I ain't got a, don't have a full threads on it, full nut with threads on it. So I gotta get another one. Stainless steel. Alright. Take a look from way back. Okay, y'all hear the Here's the array from way back from the power shed. Here she is. 
She's up there. That's 10 foot up in the air. Where the other ones are like seven foot off the ground. She's gonna be good to go. wrap this video up I'll do some updates in the future but y'all Mars solar and there's a website there it is Mars NG Corporation Mars solar okay all right, folks, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. Hoorah. Y'all take care now. Thanks for watching. All right, now. Hey, remember, mention my name if you want a racking system and you get 10% off. All right? Thank you for watching, y'all. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. God bless and simplify.